They used to stand in line for hours just to eat his food. They watch by the millions to learn how he cooks his food. Excellent. Could he be the next big thing? And the food will be as good as anything they've had. Better. He is, if anything, confident, and maybe he should be. You see, Daryl Johnson came up the hard way. A lot of my friends are incarcerated or didn't make it to C-18. Daryl grew up in New Orleans' third ward. Some Good. of your friends are dead. Yeah, a lot of them. A lot of, a lot of them. But Daryl had a dream. Well, I, I, I had a gift. I had a passion. I think people, you know, found favor in me and gave me opportunity. It started at a little place in New Orleans called Commander's Palace. Um, but you have to go through four interviews just to be a dishwasher. But this dishwasher had a fire in the belly to learn. Take a little bit of whipping cream. Now he was kind of the, the, the big guy up here. He had to go through about four or five chefs before you even get to him, you know, so, but he was the guy, you know, so me, I was, I was the guy that came up and learned a lot, was able to, to watch and see a great guy do it. So I take them and then I hit them with a little gramonier. Daryl goes to culinary school in New Orleans, but once more, heads to Paris, France, starts knocking on doors. I could not speak the language. Um, I didn't have any contacts. I didn't know anybody, but I did have a dream. I wanted to pursue it, you know? So I literally was going to hotel to hotel, knocking on doors, asking chefs to give me a shot. Eventually, Daryl becomes the saute chef in a four-star hotel in Paris. We worked 18 hour days, very, very long shifts, but I learned a lot. And now that knowledge, that talent, has come to Shreveport. And no one else is really doing it like I'm doing it here. A brand new place called Crescent City Bistro. A place that might remind you of something. We're going to transport you to your favorite French Quarter Cafe. You know, the music's going to remind you of Mardi Gras, the food's going to remind you of Bourbon Street. You're going to feel like you're in New Orleans when you walk through those doors. Once you come in and taste it, it's no doubt. It's undeniable what, what we bring to the table. I want the everyday, everyday man to come and be able to eat a quality high-end meal and not have to have to take out a small mortgage on his home to enjoy himself. My food with technique that I, I learned from working at these restaurants. And would he ever go back to that place where those other two guys cooked? Uh, to eat, absolutely. Um, but I, I want to start my own legacy. You know, I don't want to go back and be executive chef somewhere else now. I want to start my own legacy, start my own brand. I think I've cut my teeth and paid my dues enough and have, you know, have the ability to, you know, make great food. The food will bring them. I think the food will bring them. Okay. You just got to get the word out. You got to get the word out. So what is the word that the, you want to get out? The word is Crescent City Bistro. You will feel like you're in the world.